Hello and welcome back to Investor Info. There seems to be a lot of misconceptions about being frugal and being cheap. In this video we will be putting those misconceptions to rest and diving into the key differences between frugal and cheap. But before we clear things up, remember to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you'll get notified every time we upload a new video. You surely don't want to miss out. So, with all that being said, let's get started. According to Dictionary.com, cheap in the context we're discussing means stingy or miserly, while frugal means economical in use or expenditure, prudently saving or sparing, not wasteful. The distinction between frugal and cheap boils down to how you save money. There is a significant distinction between being thrifty and being cheap. A thrifty person's attitude is more deliberate and concerned with value, whereas cheap individuals are naturally drawn to price. Anyone who has ever maintained a careful watch on their budget and is able to readily turn down spending temptations has had to cope with well-meaning family members and friends referring to them as cheap. The word cheap sometimes has a bad connotation, but if you're doing everything you can to make wise financial decisions and it comes off as being frugal with your money, so be it. You may just chuckle your way into early retirement or that much desired kitchen remodel. Another way to think about keeping an eye on your pocketbook is to be frugal, which has a more positive connotation. While there is some overlap between cheapness and frugality, there are several crucial characteristics that may assist you in determining which side of the line you fall on. In any case, as long as you're making financial decisions that you're happy with, there's nothing to laugh about. Frugality is a matter of dealing with money. It's a method of spending that is both attentive and smart. According to some, there is a delicate line between being thrifty and being cheap. I'm not sure I agree. I believe the line has been drawn fairly clearly. People who are cheap and frugal both want to save money. The difference is in how they go about it. Essentially, when someone is cheap or thrifty, they aim to restrict their expenditures to a minimum. However, the incentives for achieving that aim are often quite different. Those that are thrifty attempt to get the most value out of their money. They prioritize spending their money on things that are most important to them. In general, individuals who are frugal are concerned with the value of their purchases, whereas those who are cheap are concerned with the cost. Those who are thrifty are prepared to make allowances for items that are essential to them, but those who are cheap constantly want to get the best price. In many circumstances, frugality only impacts the person making the purchase, not the people around them, which is why folks who are perceived as cheap might occasionally irritate friends and family with their spending habits. For example, if you never contribute to the tip while buying dinner with friends and, as a result, they have to contribute more money to the tip, you may develop a reputation for being cheap. However, if you just opt to drink water instead of an expensive cocktail at a restaurant, you cause no harm to others and are likely to be perceived as economical. Being thrifty should not be viewed negatively. It is being frugal with money and not wasting money or resources. Being cheap, on the other hand, refers to a reluctance to spend money, being ungenerous, and believing that you obtain greater value by paying less. So perhaps you can see that there is a significant difference between the two. Being cheap might come across as a disparaging term, but being frugal just means you don't squander money, not that you don't spend it. Being frugal may not be the first thing that comes to mind when thinking of a millionaire, but the ties between frugality and millionaires are greater than you may believe. Many billionaires have a thrifty attitude, and there is a strong correlation between wealth and spending less. There's a reason why Toyota is the most popular automobile among billionaires in the United States. Rather than squandering their fortunes on expensive items, the affluent may opt to buy used automobiles or smaller homes in order to save money on items that depreciate fast. There's also a relationship between minimalism and cautiousness. When you start decluttering your life, you'll find that you desire to acquire fewer items that don't serve you, which means you'll spend less money. This is not to argue that thrifty individuals do not spend money. A thrifty person, on the other hand, is more willing to spend money on something that will last longer or be more advantageous in the long term. It's about obtaining the most value for your money, not the cheapest considering the larger picture, if you will, rather than quick victories. Frugal individuals also spend time studying items and making sure they get the greatest deal possible. 
Whether that's by looking for coupons, purchasing used goods, or looking for accessible discounts. Another characteristic of frugal individuals is that they are well organized. Paying bills on time, meal planning, and budgeting for a future event are all methods to save money and be more deliberate with spending. When it comes to debt, thrifty individuals almost never allow themselves to fall into trouble. They don't see the benefit of anything that deprives them of their monthly income through repayments. They would frequently save up for something and only buy with cash rather than credit. A cheap person is more concerned with what profit they may acquire for themselves in the immediate time. They are focused on short-term and lack a long-term perspective. Someone who is thrifty considers the larger picture and has the self-control to wait for savings chances. A frugal person thinks about the long-term implications of their financial actions. They understand that while the lowest price might save them a few dollars today, it may also result in a bad overall experience. This is why thrifty individuals place a premium on value above money. Someone with a cheap mindset views the lowest possible price as the ultimate aim and is more concerned with cost. Another significant distinction between thrifty and cheap conduct is how each impacts those around you. Because the objective of a cheap person is to minimize their own personal financial cost, they are frequently oblivious of how their actions affect others. Penny pinchers, stingy tippers, and ungrateful givers all prioritize their own needs. A person who leads a thrifty lifestyle does not allow their spending habits to have a detrimental impact on others. They endeavor to make sensible financial decisions for themselves, but they do not do so at the expense of others. A cheap person is typically hesitant to spend money because they are concerned that they will not have enough for themselves. This is why people are prepared to forego quality and effort in order to save a few dollars. A thrifty person knows how to spend their money wisely and get the most bang for their buck with each purchase. As a result, they are comfortable with how they spend their money. Cheapness is defined as spending the least amount of money feasible, regardless of the situation or the repercussions. A thrifty person stresses value above cost. Therefore, they spend their money on things that are essential to them rather than on frivolous items. Frugal folks prefer to save money, but will not sacrifice quality for a good deal. They spend money on things that are important to them and learn to save money on everything else. They appreciate people over savings and do not prioritize money. Even though they like saving money, they make certain that their thriftiness does not cause difficulty to others. Even while frugal individuals are deliberate in their expenditures, they will not take advantage of situations without concern for the others involved. They like a good deal, but they aren't cheap. Frugal folks understand what they value and are prepared to pay the greater price for quality. They examine not only the one-time cost reduction, but also how much they will save in the long term. Each of these characteristics of a frugal person indicates a person who views money as a means to a goal. It's not so much about the money as it is about how it improves their life. Here are some instances of how to tell the difference between being cheap and being frugal. A cheap individual might share a dinner, utilize a coupon, and tip only on the lower bill. A thrifty or frugal individual might purchase their favorite entree, but just drink water, utilize a coupon, and tip on the entire bill. A cheap individual may seek to save $20 on a pair of shoes that are going to wear out in a year, but because a thrifty or frugal person values eliminating waste, they will pay extra on a high-quality pair. When it's on sale, of course. And there you have it, folks. Now that we've discussed the difference between being frugal and cheap, let us know in the comment section down below how you plan to be frugal. Remember to always do your research and make the most of your resources. If you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. See you in the next video.